Hey y'all, Sarah Star here for the Fast Friday. Today we're at Jack in the Box. We're getting a special week of Fast Friday because y'all are getting double the reviews in one review because I have a drink in this review as well. Look how cute this is. I mean, it's gotten kind of melty, but I'm glad I found a shady spot story. Um, my Jack in the Box to get to it coming one way is like awkward. Cause it looks like you should turn in on the second turn on the road, but it takes you into this like warehouse complex thing. And I should have turned in the one before, even though that's, it looks like it's two other shops, but the Jack in the Box is like back there. So I missed the turn, but I turned down here and I'm like, ooh, this is shady. I'm like, I need to come back over here to do my review, but I am by a tree and there's birds. So I'm sorry about nature. <laughs> this drink though, it's their new floats. And this is the Cherry Sprite. And it's a regular, which is $1.99, and they have a size, uh, one size larger than that for more. But their site says, rock the boat with Jack's summer floats. What's the best part about summer? Baseball, fireworks, long walks on the beach? Nope, it's Jack's summer floats. Made with your choice of any freestyle fountain drink, ice, shake mix, and a cherry on top. It's bound to become everyone's favorite summer treat. So anyone into long walks to Jack in the Box? No, I don't want to walk to Jack in the Box. But um, I don't know how well this is going to go for me because I don't know what this mix they're talking about. That is thick, the one I just poked through there. Yeah, that's like ice cream, huh? <laughs> oh, there's like a hair thing. Okay, it's, it's coming. It's foaming out. You don't know what's going on? It's freaking out is what it's doing. Um, It looks good. I'm kind of weirded out now. It's It's... It's a float, okay, I got it, oh god, it's gonna overflow. Oh, it's weird. I love cherries, though. So, oh, this is so thick that you need to give you a spoon with it. Mmm. That ice cream though is good. Hmm. I wouldn't get this again. It's weird. Like the ice cream part's good, but I'm not digging the Sprite. Um, it doesn't even really taste that cherry. It's it kind of seems like there's more carbonation than like syrup in it. So that's a no go for me. Maybe another flavor would be better. I don't know, but it's just really carbonated and when I think of floats you know I think of like a coke or whatever root beer root beer float um and like that just mixes well this isn't I'm just gonna put this in after I kind of said this sucked now that it's kind of melted on my way home and doing the rest of my review it actually doesn't taste that bad because the ice cream is melted in with this drink um it kind of just tastes like a cherry ice cream so Definitely let it melt or mix it in, unless you're a dum dum like me, <laughs> just trying to drink the the weird cherry sprite at the bottom. But yeah, mix this up, and uh, it's way more delicious. But the star of the show is going to be the Cholula Buttery Jack. Now, I never know if I'm still saying that word right. <laughs> I had to ask the boyfriend. I'm like, how do you pronounce this? Because I don't use this hot sauce. It's a hot sauce. If you don't know. And on their site, it looks like this. And what Jack has to say is, introducing the Cholula Buttery Jack. It's everything you love about the Buttery Jack, plus delicious Cholula hot sauce, crispy jalapenos, and pepper jack cheese on a signature bun. The only way we can make this burger any better is if we put Cholula hot sauce on it. Wait, we already did that. So, there's literally nothing I'm going to like about this. Except Jack in the Box has some pretty tasty burgers. I did enjoy the Buttery Jack that um, I reviewed before. I don't know if it was just like a bacon one or just like a standard one or what was going on, but it was good. Um, not something you want to eat every day. So this is going to be spicy, y'all. Comes in this nice box. So let me bring you in for a close-up. So here is the new Cholua Buttery Jack. It comes in the little diaper because they're going to tell you it's going to get messy. We got the bun here. I guess it looks buttery. It smells buttery. It smells spicy. Like, I, oh yeah. 
Ooh, this is already, can you see that grease? There you go, yeah. <laughs> so, ooh, there's the sauce, there's the crispy jalapenos, lettuce, tomato, cheese, the meat. Oh, that is like really intimidating. Oh geez. <laughs> Let's get this in my mouth. I'm actually kind of surprised by this. I don't hate it. Because <laughs> um, I don't like spicy. And I mean, there's just like a little tickle. And I really hate jalapenos. And I'm like not even getting like the flavor of it really. Um, maybe because they are fried. And you know, fried things are just better. But um, I've never had Cholua, so I don't know if it tastes like it. But. It's just, I mean, it seems just kind of like a basic burger, though. Um, there's nothing, like, too exciting about it. It's your typical jack-in-the-box burger taste, which, now that I'm eating this, it's really not my favorite. And I feel like the bun could be more buttery. It's not, like, standing out. But it's just, um, and, oh, I had to take the tomatoes off to try to get some of the more spiciness, because the tomatoes were really, like killing it with like being so cool and masking the spiciness I guess which is good for me but I wanted to get more of that flavor but I just feel like it's kind of lacking I feel like if you are a spicy lover this is just gonna be something kind of mediocre to you um, unless maybe you want to add more of your own Cholua sauce maybe that can step it up for you but as someone who doesn't like spicy and can't handle spicy I'm like totally fine now so it's not that spicy if you're worried about it and flavor it's just just a standard kind of burger. Definitely did not tell you the price. The price of the burger is $4.49 just for the burger itself. I had to refrain from getting some curly fries even though they are so delicious. <laughs> but if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you know my videos go live. And don't forget, today is Friday, which means tomorrow is Saturday and I am going live every Saturday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come hang out with me and have a drink and let's chat and just have a good time. I wanna thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.